Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I think I'm going to solve uh, a little bit of a mystery for some of you. So I know that y'all saw the shorts recently, and you know that we got a building. Okay, so let's take a real quick look, walk around, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so you can see that this building, it is a 12 by 24, and it has a roll-up door on it. Now the roll-up door is nice, but if you want to have any kind of secured storage where you're not getting bugs and whatnot in it, this roll-up door don't cut it. First of all, you see these holes that are right here in, in the flange in the, the track, all right? And you'll also notice that the door is corrugated. So when the door is closed, you have a lot of light coming through around those corrugations in, in the door itself and, and through those holes. So there's absolutely no way that I could seal that off and make this building, um, you know, maybe not bug proof, but uh, make it a challenge for bugs and spiders and whatnot to get in here. So uh, my solution to that is we're building a wall probably already have noticed all right um, I took this closest beam right here off it, it was it was closer to the door um, I took it down took the decking down and I actually moved this beam back one frame um, and what that did is that gives me room to put up a wall even with that window right there now, yeah, it does kind of cut down on the usable space, but I'm not really going to use this for um, for my outside storage. Uh, I've, I've got plans for another building uh, for that. So um, that's the reason why we decided to go ahead and I'm going to build this wall and I'll actually take it all the way up to the roof and I'll tie it in and it'll be a complete wall right there. And that'll leave the rest of this space right here for us to either stay in if we want. Uh, we can set it up uh, for storage. We've got a loft area over on that end as well as on this end. And we're actually thinking that I might close in this area in between the two lofts and put like an attic um, entrance into it so that uh, we, we've got all of that storage area that we can store stuff in. And like I said, we might actually uh, stay in this for a short while, while we get the house finished. Um, at least we're on the property and uh, you know, it, it's a step so, closer. To, um, now eventually this is gonna turn into something else. Um, this this is all going to be short term, um, or at least I hope it's short term. And uh, let's walk back out and around the side. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the outside of it. So you can see that uh, we've got a door and two windows, uh, which it's uh, it's a nice looking building. Um, my plan is to skirt the bottom of it to keep critters and stuff from coming in. And up along that upper line uh, where the metal, uh, where it turns down this, this second white panel, I'm thinking that I might take that second panel of uh, metal off and put some kind of tie-in up there and then build a lean-to kind of porch or cover coming off this side of the barn shed whatever you want to call it and uh like i said just just have a uh have a covered area right here 
so that, you know, when it rains or, or whatever, I mean, if we want to just hang out outside, you know, we've got a covered area, uh, maybe build a deck down here, and uh, heck, we could eventually even screen it in. Um, now, the sun actually, uh, this is facing north. Um, the door and the windows is facing north, so the sun doesn't come on this side very often, so I don't know what kind of sunroom it would make. But uh, anyway, you guys are probably getting dizzy with me spinning around. So here's the shed and there's the foundation for the house. So like I said, uh, about uh, 40, 60 feet away from, from the house. And uh, anyway, so that's what's going on. Uh, working on getting this walled in so that we can actually start using this shed. Now I'm also thinking that on this side that has no windows, doing the same thing, taking the metal down up on the top up there, take that down, build an attachment point right up there where that, uh, that upper piece of metal comes down, kind of slide underneath it and build a, a, a lean to coming off of this side, build a deck, and I can actually make another storage area off this side of the building. Um, and uh, we could probably do that relatively so, cheap. That's what's going on. Um, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the update and I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Um, yeah, it was kind of intentional that there was a little bit of mystery behind it, but you know, uh, now you guys know what's going on. You kind of know the plan. So. With that, I'm just going to say, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.